If you want to upload images from your Flutter application to Cloudinary, you can easily use the public API. With a few clicks, you are able to upload your images to Cloudinary and you will see your images appear right inside your media library using the public API and a preset for the upload. So let's implement our Cloudinary Flutter image upload. I've already prepared a little Flutter application in which we can select from our library one image and it would be displayed here in our widget tree. There's nothing special about this application, so far we only have that image file. Now if we want to upload our image to Cloudinary, we first of all have to create a URL. This is the public URL in which we just need to replace the cloud name and then add some parameters. There's actually a pretty cool Postman collection that you can check out. I found this one to upload a file using the unsigned API which we want to use and it shows that we need this upload preset and we need the cloud name. So let's figure out how to get that. From the dashboard of your Cloudinary application, you of course find the cloud name right in here. So let's replace this in the string and that's the URL we want to make a post request to. Additionally, we need a preset for our unsigned upload. So go to the settings of your account, go to upload and here you can find the different presets uh, that you've created. Most likely they will only be ML default, but you can simply click add upload preset. Then give it a name or leave the name like it is. And most importantly, make sure that in this box you select unsigned because that's what we want to do. So I'm going to select unsigned. You could also give this a special folder. I'm going to tell that all these files should go into the public folder. Hit save. And once this is created, we should see under upload a new preset being created with a new name. Now we can use this name in our Flutter application to fill out the different parameters for the request. This is a standard request in which we attach our image file from before. And for the upload preset, we can now insert the ID that we've seen in the dashboard. Finally, we will also send our request. And once the request is done, we can update our UI get the response stream to bytes, convert this into a JSON map, and finally grab the URL from that JSON map to display the image in our application. So let's give this a try. I'm gonna reload, I'm gonna select an image, I'm gonna select this one up here, hit upload to Cloudinary, and after a few seconds, I should see the image appear right down here, including the URL to Cloudinary. Now, if you're like me, you shouldn't just trust my word and what I do in here. We should see the proof of it. So let's go to the Media Explorer, go to our public folder, and of course, here is the image that we just uploaded to Cloudinary. Another way to upload your files would be the upload widget, which you can find under the Flutter SDK. It's a pre-configured widget that you can easily include in your applications with a predefined UI. On top of that, if you want to run this on the backend side, there's also a backend SDK which allows server-side upload for which you can then use your API key and API secret, which you usually shouldn't include in your client-facing Flutter application. If you now also want to upload your Flutter files to Cloudinary, get started today by going to Cloudinary, create a free account and upload your images, videos or other media files from Flutter.